Hello, Paul is better for UK here and welcome to another video. Now today's game is something of a special game because it's a modern homebrew game. Uh, this is seriously impressive stuff. It's by Zosia Entertainment. I don't know if I pronounced that right. I apologise if I haven't. And uh, it's a game called Travel Through Time, Volume 1, Northern Lights. If you've never saw this before, it's seriously impressive. So let's start it and we'll show, 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 we will play the game. Sorry about that, couldn't get my words out. So you can see it's Zosha Entertainment on the bottom right here. Uh, Travel Through Time, Volume 1, Northern Lights. That is an absolutely beautiful artwork on that loading picture. So this works on the standard Spectrum. You don't need a Spectrum Next or anything like that. No, I will only work on 1 to 8 models. Uh, it does not work on 48. Okay, so let's start the game. It is made in 2021, so very new. Zosha Entertainment. Yep, Travel Through Time, the Northern Lights. So, yep. So, got some lovely AY music in the background. I'll show a minute so you can listen. So, let's go for our Sinclair joystick. First gear to start. Now, you can choose between. I'm not sure what this means OS2 CD, unless it just means put a CD in a CD player. But I'm going to go for chip music. See the presentations. Uh, lovely on this. So you can skip the cutscenes by holding down the gear. So in the 50s here. So you get like a cutscene, like beautiful graphics, beautiful artwork. This is seriously impressive stuff. He's going to get his car out the garage. Look how fluid that animation is. There's his car. That's the car you're going to be driving on the game. Stage one and just drive. You have no time limits. All you have to do is get to the, your destination point. As you can see, absolutely stunning game. Really, really. Uh, you wouldn't think the Spectrum would be able to do this, but yeah, it's absolutely. It's a great game. Graphics are great, superb. You got like moody night scene here. Oh, oh, I just locked all of the, <laughs> the uh, signposts off. So even like sort of innovations like that is absolutely superb. I'm really impressed with this, to be honest. So let's keep going. You see, you got your distance on the bottom left and your gears on the bottom right. You got low and high in neutral. Oh, just bashed into that car there. So you got like hills, steep cut corners and stuff. It's just really impressive. So this is a homebrew game, so it is free to download. At least this volume one of it is. I don't know if there's additional ones. I haven't really researched into that. So yeah, we keep going on our journey. Such a such a fun game. So as you can see, it was on the title. It was travel through time. So you do go through the different decades as well. Okay, so we've got another cutscene here. Good morning, Uncle Bjorn. Oh hi, Sven. Where are you going so early? The guys are racing on the old road on the weekend, so I'm going to skip through this cutscene here. So yeah, just the graphics on it, like the way the trees pass through the night and the uh, the uh, lampposts, the, the road signs, and etc. It just looks apart. It's just really clever use of what well, they've made a fantastic um, game engine for this game. I do have to say it's really impressive. If you had this back in the day, I think you'd be blown away on the spectrum, to be honest, because it's that good. The playability is excellent, there's no lag or anything, the car is extremely responsive to the controls. Whoa! Crash into the train here. So the trains that come past, which I didn't even know was there until then. So yeah, absolutely superb game. Can't stress that enough. You can download the uh, tap file from the uh, Zosia, Zosia website for free. Uh, it includes both the English and the Spanish version. Not sure if it includes any other languages, but I'm obviously got the English version on at the minute. So yeah, does this look like a get? Oh, this get this get. Like I said earlier, this game does run on real hardware, so you can load it in a Spectrum one to eight just fine. You don't need TR DOS or anything like that. It just runs on a stock Spectrum one to eight. It's, it's some of these homebrew or like new releases are just superb. 
and uh, they really do show off what the spectrum can be do can do with talented programmers and designers so do you like the look of this one if you've never saw it before I think if you haven't played it you should definitely play it if you're into Spectrum gaming uh, it's just one of the best driving games on the Spectrum I would say okay we've got to this point again so if I skip past this just try and get past that train so I've got to be careful with that train so I think it was near the end of the distance wasn't it whoa So there's a train somewhere around here. So maybe I should stop at the, the, the crossing and not go all out speeding. There we go. That's how you do it. So you've got to wait for the train to go by, just like in real life situation. So near the end of the distance now. Hopefully there's no more trains. There we go, finish. Well done. So it's some sort of meet here, a gathering. It's got, it's got plenty of cutscenes in the game as well get past that for now on the time trial level now as you can see the different look to the graphics now a bit more daytime so it looks like this one's like a time limit so we've got to get there within two minutes so yeah just a fantastic game what do you think of this one do you think it looks good do you think you'd want to play it i'm really impressed with it to be honest so i'm going to give this one 10 out of 10 absolutely superb thank you for watching goodbye